Mist Valley Arts and Entertainment. Passion Burns. Help us be a bonfire for your soul. My name is Dredd. This is Mist Valley Arts and Entertainment. And this is my B-movie review. So let's talk about a recent B-movie I watched. It was called Hangin' Out. Or at least that was the English title. The actual name of the movie appears to be... Well, I'm just going to put it down below on the screen because I can't pronounce that. This is a teen Bavarian rom-com movie from 1983. My copy of this treat was dubbed into English, so no t subtitles had to be read. It was co-written and directed by Wolfgang Bold. Forgive me if I'm getting some of these names incorrectly pronounced. Uh, Wolfgang Bold also played a small role in the movie. Shot in West Germany, uh, and if it differentiates between the halves of Germany, then you know it's a, it's a fairly old movie. The soundtrack is performed by Marcus Morrill, who is also the male lead in the film, and by Nina, the film's female lead. And if you think you might recognize the name Nina, stay tuned, we got more about her later. And the soundtrack plays an important part of this movie. It's almost like a character all of its own. Yes, that means that there is some singing in this movie, or at least the stars moving their lips along to some edgy, poppy, and actually quite well-written tunes during the film while facing the camera and other on-screen stars, bringing the songs to life as part of the story. It's actually kind of cool. I can In many ways, this reminded me of a John Hughes film. It's, it's like a Pretty in Pink for Germans, but put out a full three years before that hit movie made it to the big screen. You wonder if John Hughes saw that movie and got some ideas from it. I gotta tell you, I quite enjoyed this film. I hoped I would think it was all right, and it far exceeded my expectations. It really did. The basic plot line revolves around a girl in love with someone who really doesn't love her, while she uses and abuses the young man who actually adores her. Will she find true love at last and let go of her fantasies? And will he ever be able to forgive her for what she has put him through? In all, this movie left me with happy feelings and a skip in my step, some good 80s tunes buzzing in my head, and in no way did I feel like this was 91 wasted minutes. I think Pretty in Pink merged with planes, trains, and automobiles, and you will start to get an idea of what kind of enjoyment you could get out of this film. Co-written by Wolfgang Bold, George Seitz, and Peter Zeman, originally filmed in German language, and filming locations were Germany, Bavaria, and Munich. This film came out in 1983 and was produced by Solaris Films and distributed by Constantine Films and Solaris Film. The two main stars are Nina and Marcus Morrill. Marcus is a composer and actor born in 1959 in Germany. But Nina is the real star of the show here. You may recognize her. Nina was born Gabrielle Suzanne Kerner in 1960 in Hager, Germany. And at 17, she became the lead singer of The Stripes, and then a little later, her own band. She is most well known as the writer and singer of the new wave song, 99 Luft Balloons. So, no slouches in the singing departments here, yet this isn't exactly an all-out musical film either. Not even close. What is Hanging Out? Hanging Out is a wonderful and delightful feel-good story of a musical rom-com from Germany that everyone can enjoy. I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. People, it's a B-movie, but it's not a bad movie. <sighs>